Greetings YouTube, time for a bargain video. First we have gluten-free baking, as my wife has been pursuing gluten-free um, foods, and I picked this up on sale for or five bucks, so I thought you might find it interesting. Um, there's, another, there's another baking piece of uh, stuff in this particular video as well. Dr. Seuss's, Dr. Seuss Goes to War, the World War II editorial cartoons uh, by Theodore uh, Seuss Geisel. That should be intriguing. Um, we have Castle by David McCauley and Medieval World by the National Geographic. Now I picked these two books up at the Buy the Pound Goodwill in Hudson, New Hampshire, and I paid like 90 cents for both of them. And I did not even, I don't even know where they're going yet. I'll give them away to someone. Um, but they were in nice condition and I hated to see them going into a landfill or getting recycled as pulp. So someone should get them. I have no idea why they didn't put this into the regular store. I mean, they're wonderful references for kids, so I don't get it. Then we have the uh, Hobbit, the Unexpected Junicle Chronicles. This is about the films, like the sketches and the concept art and things like that. And my wife's a Hobbit fan, and I really liked a lot of the technical aspects of this, and I got it for 10 bucks. Um, then we have two comics here. We have Tick Circus Maximus, April 2000, 40 pages, no ads, which is a list. This is two of four. I need to find the other ones. A list of like every character ever in a Tick comic and a little blurb about them. This is just marvelous. I can't wait to look through that. Then we have an issue of the uh, Fantastic Futures Super Teens, The Legion of Superheroes, 40 cents. Um, so that was, that was a while ago. It's the Circus of Death. We have Sisters of the Earth, which is poetry and editorial writings um, by women about uh, the Earth. We have two games here. This is uh, Chrononauts, the time travel card game. And then this one is the Power Mage 54 playing cards, which are... Easy to play, but also requires a complex strategy that involves superheroes, but you can actually use them as playing cards. And the Goodwill I was at had a hundred of each of these things. I have no idea why they had so many of them. Some gaming store went on a business or something and donated them all, or maybe the printer did. But yeah, lots of them. And in the same bound by the pound place, I also picked up this, which is an entire collection of CDs. Now, they came in this large, bulky case that had them all vertical and those little slider device and would pop one CD up. Yeah, it's that's why it was in the buy of the pound place because no one wanted to take the individual CDs out and then package them for sale. And I didn't take the device because it was heavy and I didn't need it. Um, so I did, however, take the card that came with it. And you think got things harp music, which I'm a big fan of. There's harpal marks in here. There's Native American music. There's early American music. There is some Bach. There is some Polish music in here. There is, what was it, Crouching Tiger, Hidden uh, uh, Dragon, then there's Cha Cha Lounge, Brass Around the World. So there's all this really odd collection of stuff and it's a snapshot into someone's musical desires and, and interests. So I figured I'd just give this a listen and if I decide I don't like some of the CDs, I can just donate them again and I'll put them in cases so they can get sold. Uh, and then we have this lovely little fan here, which I picked up at a a garage sale um, for a dollar and it's real fabric and it actually works quite well and I found it very attractive I like the pattern um, so I'll probably just put that on display or something but if I read a fan you know it is quite effective on to the next section time for some movies we have the first season of Dark Angel so now I have the entire thing we have Barbarella and the Ice Pirates. I found both of those in the same thrift shop. I was quite pleased. I found uh, Master and Commander. Now, I had never really heard much about this till I saw someone do a, rev uh, do a small review of it on YouTube. Apparently, it was really well received by uh, critics, so I'll give it a shot. I bought this one cold. It's got um, Jack Black and uh, Steve Martin in it, so maybe it's good. I'll find out. Um, I picked up Happy Feet, which I didn't think I owned, but I specifically purchased it because it's a high-definition DVD. I don't actually know if my player will run this. I'm going to find out. 
Uh, Skyline, which is a science fiction which really wasn't well received, but I picked it up for a buck. Redline, which is an absolutely insane anime. I, it's off, uh, off the wall. If you're into cars and anime, watch this one. Um, then we have Black Snake Moan. I still have them kind of on the fence on that one, but it was two bucks, so I thought I'd pick it up. We have The Miser Brothers Christmas, a Christmas special I had never heard of, which had the Miser Brothers together. And this is full stop motion. This is not animated uh, with a computer. And it was essentially the last thing Rankin and Basque ever did. Um, this pretty much the, the film company was almost non-existent when this was produced so their last gasp uh justice league war and son of batman both of which i picked up for a dollar and i picked up the serenity blu-ray because this has commentary track and it's a blu-ray so i will recycle my um my dvd copy of the movie then we have this my wife knows the names of these characters so i can't remember the name of the characters but i picked it up for her for like Um, cause she likes the characters and it was like less than a dollar at a, an estate sale and she doesn't really want to keep it around. I get no problem. She donates it. I got a leather eyeglass case. It says Timberland, but it was cheap and it's nice quality. And I'm always looking for good quality cases for my glasses. Um, then we have this, which kind of fuses, uh, two of my wife's interests, a bottle opener and a bell. And this is a bell. This is a 2008... 100 year centennial anniversary of Harvard Business School. It's very well cast. It's in incredibly good condition. Um, has a nice ring to it. And it was at a thrift shop. And I'm like, somebody apparently didn't want it. Uh, feeler gauges, which are in nice shape. I have a set of these, but they're not in as, as clean and, and uh, of shape as this set. So I'll replace them. This, I don't know what this is. It's a big brass cylinder. It's heavy. I don't know what it is. I thought it was kind of cool. I, may have, I might find a use for it. We have a bottle opener. This is the kind you mount on something. I got that for my wife. She likes bottle openers and she likes skulls. So there you go. And then we have this, which is a brass Buddha, which I've been looking for one of these for like a year. And I finally found one. Um, it's a gift for somebody. I was like, yay, a brass Buddha. Um, then we have the Sawa 2000 which is a cookie press, which is where I discussed the gluten-free baking book earlier because my wife wants to do gluten-free stuff. And now she has a Swedish baking cookie press um, because she is Swedish and or from Swedish descent. And uh, this is apparently vintage. They're going online for like $25 or more. And we have a toilet bowl light. Yep, that should be interesting review. Um, and then we have a Kermit the Frog because my wife is a, a big... Muppet fan. It was in a really nice shape, so I picked that up. And the last thing is just going to be a general bunch of stuff, I think. A short extension cord. Sometimes those are hard to find. A large hook, so I can mount things in the basement. A chamois, a cleaning chamois. Um, and these things all cost like less than a dollar a piece. Um, a garden sprinkler. My wife wanted one. I found one at a estate sale for like a, a buck. Um, a vintage cake carrier from Tupperware. My wife does make cakes occasionally to bring to work, and she has not had a proper container to carry them in. And now she, we have a vintage cake carrier, which could be used for other things, because you just turn it upside down, put the lid on it, and now it becomes a container to carry, carry other things or use other things for store, storage. So, multiple uses. Um, and it kind of makes me smile, because I just finished reading a book on Tupperware. Um, I have a new pair of... Or, <laughs> thrift store player of work jeans. I'm always in the market for good quality work jeans. And I actually have another pair of the same brand. I just can't figure out what brand it is. It's this M symbol. And I cannot find it anywhere of what this thing is. Um, I like them. They're comfortable. They have, they're a heavier gauge denim than a lot of the jeans I've found. And it's got nice big pockets, which I appreciate front pockets. I like deep pockets. I hate shallow pockets. They bug the crap out of me. Um, then we have a Baseball bat, and I really didn't need another baseball bat. I got multiple baseball bats all waiting for projects. This was purchased in Nashua, New Hampshire. Um, it's a Tennessee Thumper. 
but the guy who had the sale also I also bought the fan from and uh, he, he's like nobody was there and I felt bad so I picked this up for a dollar and the fan for a dollar so um, oh we, we are we're having a guest you want to slide something in there dear we have a guest appearance my wife has hopped on to the slime bandwagon so you want to lubricate your hands a little apparently yeah, you take a little bit of the saline and you now have slime and it is in fact quite slimy I was just playing with it a few minutes ago um, and she has it in numerous colors because she's going to be doing this for some brownies and for some daisies daisies, daisies yeah. and brownies and she's going to make slime she already has the containers of doll divided up with colors and glue and stuff and we I had to buy a gallon of glue to do this <laughs> lots of glue it's not a waste of resources at all. No, nope, it's just... Yeah, no. Nothing. It's just super productive. So there you go, folks. This has been the latest bargain video with some bonus slime. It's like flubber. <laughs>